Welcome back to another very important video. We have a few very important things to discuss. So in 2019, effective January 1, Ontario updated their distracted driving rules, which broadened the range and up the fi fines and penalties severely. So your first distracted driving charge is a thousand bucks and a three day license suspension. Your second one is a seven day license suspension and $2,000. And if you get caught a third time, we're looking at 30 days license suspension, $3,000 and six demerit points. It's pretty extreme. I'm very, very fortunate. I own a really nice car that has lots of great tech, but as I have come to discover, even the best cars and the best tech can still have problems. And I've had a lot of issues with my cell phone. Here's an example. So this is the in-car dilemma. There's nowhere really that great to put your cell phone. As you can tell, this thing is big iPhone 8 Plus. Sometimes I set it there. Doesn't work great. When this car is in drive, sometimes I set it across there. Isn't great. Cup holders, it barely fits in the bigger one. Doesn't fit in the smaller one. So then you're doing it on a weird angle. And it just doesn't work. And then I'm ended up, I just toss it in the passenger seat. But when you're taking a passenger, they put a water bottle in each of the cup holders. I'm then putting my phone up there. As you can tell, it's really sliding. There's, there's no great place to put your phone. So that being said, I have reached out to ProClip. They build what has been quite renounced as the best cell phone holder on the market for the Camaro. And this goes beyond just having your hands off your phone. As I showed you, this is having somewhere for your phone to safely be. I just got a new phone, iPhone 8, nothing overly special, but the thing is gigantic. It weighs a fair bit and it's worth a fair bit of money and I really don't want to damage it. So having an effective secure position is going to be absolutely key and critical. A few things I didn't talk about ProClip when I got into this device. And one thing the Camaro is lacking is uh, performance gauges when I'm on the track. Um, you can buy OBD sensors that plug in and work via Bluetooth with your smartphone, but your smartphone needs to be somewhere that you can see and use it. So this will be incorporated into my racing for the foreseeable seasons that I have my Camaro, which probably is gonna be another 10 or 15 or 20 or 30 years. Um, and this will go along with me which is pretty exciting. Um, I haven't opened it up yet because I wanted to do it with you guys, but uh, when I did my research and I talked to everybody, what do you love about your cell phone mounts? What do you hate about your cell phone mounts? Um, mag magnets, the ones that suck your cup to the window, were highly frowned upon because they are highly unreliable. Um, so that was something I tried to avoid from day one, and I really wanted a secure mount. This also works with uh, tablets and all kinds of different devices. And if my race season goes the way it goes and things go the way I'm hoping to, I'm hoping to be able to get myself an iPad, which might replace the cell phone for the OBD sensor for racing, which again would come back to this. You need a secure platform in order to put this on. So this is made of some good quality, I'm assuming ABS style plastic. Um, it pretty much blends right in with the interior, which is pretty good. Um, and it's nice, it's gonna fit and look slick. Um, it is a hard mount, which is what I love. You've got your two-way tape on the top and bottom that will keep it securely fastened and attached. And then you've got your phone mount. So a problem with a lot of phone mounts are how universal they are, which means you're never gonna get a great fit. But this one is actually adjustable. So you undo the screws on the front, I presume, and you slide this back and forth because my phone does not currently fit. Um, but this is for the 8 Plus with a slim to medium case. That's another thing. I'm 
I like the case I like. I am putting a case on this. I'm waiting for Amazon to ship it. It should have been here a few days ago, but it isn't, but that's okay. So I like what I like, and I like thin, slim, minimal, just a bit of padding around the outside cases. And some people like really thick, chunky, the big otter boxes, life-proof, waterproof, et cetera, et cetera, cases. You can buy a different mount for your personality and your taste, which is pretty important because you don't want to buy a great mount and then not be able to use it with your phone the way you like to use your phone. I mean, we live on these damn things and we use them the way we want to use them. So you might as well have everything else in your life work with them. So that's kind of, where the whole inspiration for this came with. I'm very fortunate to have a car with Apple CarPlay and all of the great creature comforts and features it does, but you need somewhere to put the phone in order to properly use all this. So let's toss this thing together real quick. You've got two screws on the front, undo those. It allows us to slide in and out so you can adjust it for your phone. You've got one screw in the middle. I found this really nasty screwdriver because I'm not currently at home. That is the device, fully assembled, fully articulate, works extremely well. It's actually really nice, really robust. And like I mentioned uh, earlier, it, it very, very much so matches the interior of the Camaro and you can basically perfectly position your phone in any which direction to which you would like. I feel like um, the fiance may or may not end up stealing this in the long run. Here's something a little different for an installation video. It's below freezing. It is snowing. It snowed a little bit today. And we are going to hop in the car here. You can tell, a little bit of fresh powder. And we are going to install this thing. So there you have it. It is fully installed. I did end up adjusting it for the iPhone. You can adjust it a lot. The adhesive is still doing its job. I think I need to heat the car up a little bit. But it is well placed. I'm very, very pleased with that portion of it. It's just a big phone. There's just not much you can do about it. But yeah, no, I'm extremely pleased. Um, the only negative or the only real criticism I could have for it is it does kind of cover up the, uh, there we go. It does kind of cover up the uh, heated seat controls. Oh, it doesn't want to focus. It's not love a night shot here, but it does cover those up. Aside from that, from a driver's perspective, it's, it's just absolutely ideal really really good there's some companies that care about your performance there's some companies that care about your lux and there's some companies that care about your safety this is all about safety and uh, convenience so thank you proclip i will be sharing this product a lot over my next number of videos and i, I hope everybody appreciates uh some of the little things some some of the mods you do to your car have nothing to do with making it go faster or look pretty it's more just about enjoying the uh the cockpit here which is what this car is all about till next time drive safe take care and behave as always did an absolutely incredible job I ended up blowing the heat here on the vent I just blew it to at the passenger right here closed a few of my vents and just blew really hot air on it and it is incredibly mounted which is perfect um, as you can tell like it, it's 
incredibly good. Um, and I'm gonna put the case on it, readjust this a little bit. And then as you can tell, I took my iPhone cable here and I actually tucked it right beside the vent here. I'm gonna do a little better job and try and get it as tucked as possible. And I might even pick up a black one just so that this is basically invisible but plugged in because I don't have the, the wireless Apple CarPlay. And obviously I'm not gonna live without Apple CarPlay because a big advantage to the phone is I can use wireless uh, communication for Waze, which is one of the best things in the car because the inboard GPS you cannot do unless you are in park um, to put in a destination or search points of interest or you know yada 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 so super impressed it, it's a great it looks sleek and it's incredibly well secured easy to take in and out um, this is going to be a great thing to have for many years to come so shout out to ProClip USA link in the description down below they make an incredible product end of story